Hey, hold my beer and watch this. It's gonna be one of those moments. Here we go. What's up YouTube? How y'all guys doing? Uh, welcome back to Cold Beer Ranch. I'm John, in case you didn't know. Uh, I got quite a few new subscribers over the last uh, couple of weeks or so. Uh, I did a solar video, man, it just kind of blew up. Uh, just needed some power down at the tiny cabin and so uh, I thought I'd do a little video on it and it seems to be doing pretty good. So I appreciate all you guys watching. Welcome all you new subscribers. And uh, welcome to Colbier Ranch. With that said, what am I gonna do today? Well, I'm gonna go out there and make sure the solar's still working because I still am just getting a kick out of that. Uh, but I do need to finish the ceiling and then I wanna start on one of the walls with some of those fence pickets that I bought. So I think that's what I plan on doing. Uh, I did put a new uh, card in the, um, in the trail cam. So maybe we'll see what kind of animals we've been seeing out there. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So stand by and uh, enjoy. So I think I had some new subscribers that uh, maybe hadn't seen some of my previous videos and they just watched the solar video. Um, so yeah, they hadn't seen the tiny house. So here it is, for those of you who hadn't seen it, it's a uh, 12 by 12 out here in the woods, basically, <laughs> in the thick of the woods. And um, I think I started it a few months back and uh, pretty much built it by myself. Had a couple of friends come out a few times, but uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me flip you guys around and I'll give you a, a, a quick tour. All right, here you go. So again, it's just a, a 12 by 12, very small. Um, it's got a roof uh, that just slants from the front to the back and um, nothing fancy about it. It's got cedar trim, a little uh, smart panel siding looks like old cabin look just recently built these uh stairs to get up here a little porch those are some fence pickets that i'm thinking about putting on wall there's the front door uh, and it overlooks this uh what we affectionately call cold beer creek so it's a small creek that uh i've been here three years it's always got water moving in it so uh yeah you can see it's flowing from over there. It kind of circles around. And then uh, there's some lower spots over there. It's just pretty thickly wooded out here. But uh, let me let you go inside here real quick. <clears throat> so yeah, I haven't been out here in about a week. Um, you guys saw me put up this uh, insulation, if you want to call it, uh, that bubble wrap. I still have to do this side yet. Most of you maybe uh, recently have come over because you saw the solar video, uh, which you can see we're looking good. So it doesn't, hadn't, hadn't blown up or caused a fire or anything like that. Nothing's hot. Um, seems to be working. Somebody was worried about rainwater getting in. I have caulked the uh, tube on both sides. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But in essence, this is gonna be the kitchen area right here. Uh, this area where all the stuff is stored is gonna be a small bathroom. So basically behind this wall, I'll, f I'll frame this out right here and uh, we'll put a small door or something there. And then uh, kitchen area, I don't know. Let me, let me zoom out here. It's a little better. Um, futon type bed thing. And I don't know, what do you need out here in a tiny cabin? A table, poker table, something like that. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the tour. It's got six windows in it. 
Uh, there's a window back here. I don't know if you can see it. Small window back here. Yeah. Um, in the bathroom. And then it's got these four bigger windows over here. But yeah, basically that's it. I'm going to finish the ceiling and then try to do potentially this wall over here um, with those uh, fence pickets. So that's the plan anyway. Sometimes the plan changes. Uh, let's check the solar out. Let's get a fan and a light going. I unplugged it last time I was in here. You can see the sun's coming and going. Uh, hang on, and I'll, I'll flip you all around and we can check this out. A little dark in here, but I plugged in the extension cord that has the light, which is not working. Ah, I know why. Remember, I mounted my switch right here to be able to turn it on. Yeah, there we go. Aha, uh -huh, ta-da, and a fan. That's awesome. Super awesome. It's working just fine, as you can see. Very cool. So, I don't know, a couple weeks in, no issues as of yet. Um, still real excited about it. Uh, I mean, this is just, uh, I'm just excited, guys. I don't know what else to say. So, just want to say again, thanks for all the new subscribers. Appreciate you guys coming along. Uh, not sure what you're looking for on the channel. You can go back and see some of my previous videos. Maybe I'll link a couple here. Um, and see what I've been doing. It's both, mostly been this tiny house build. I'm not a, a solar guy. I'm not going to be doing a ton of solar videos, although I will give updates on it from time to time. I do have a Harbor Freight solar set that I purchased before all this that I still want to fiddle with. So I may hook that up in the future. But uh, for the most part, it's going to be uh, working on the inside of this tiny cabin, uh, getting it looking really awesome so that uh, when hunting season comes, I can uh, spend the night out here and I don't know, I could shoot a deer right off the front porch. Uh, but potentially there's a couple of deer stands that I can hunt out of if I don't want to do that. But it's this just makes it a shorter walk. So anyways, super excited to spend the night out here. Uh, feels actually pretty good in here. It's a little early in this, the morning, 8.30 in the morning or so, 9, 9 o'clock in the morning. And uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, with the insulation that I have in here, keeps it pretty, uh, pretty cool. So, of course, the heat of the day, man, it, it changes everything. But uh, I know you guys are feeling it, too, wherever you're from. Anyways, let's get started. Let's get something done today. Cold beer. Okay, guys, got uh, most of it up. It looks okay. I got one more spot over here, which I guess I'm dreading because I've got all this junk in the bathroom area. So in order to get to it, I got to move all that. But, but for the most part, it, it's done. And so somebody gave me the idea of maybe trimming it out. Where's the, I had some small pieces. Where are they at? Where are they at? This, no, those are the big pieces. I literally just had them. Uh, put them over here. I don't know. These are cedar. These are one by twos. Cedar. Let me uh, let me get this ladder. I just want to get y'all's opinion. If y'all want to comment in the in the section the comment section, tell me what y'all think. Oh my goodness. So like you you can see. 
the insulation and then the rafter, you know, right here. What do you think about like trimming it out with a one by two? Or maybe coming up in here, you know, to kind of cover up the, the rough seam since I didn't take the time to cut it straight. Uh, I could tack these cedar one by twos up here. That might look kind of cool. I don't know. What do y'all think? It does give it a nice clean edge. And if I did that, what is this? This is a one and a half, three quarter, three quarter. So that's three quarter and three quarters, one and a half, three inch. I don't know. I was just thinking I could put something here as well. Maybe a one, oh, one by four. Huh, I think I got one of those. So what do y'all think? Just tacking those up there to trim it out, make it look cool. Or if y'all got any other suggestions on how I can address uh, these exposed beams right here, I'd appreciate it. Y'all can just leave it in the comment section down below and uh, we can figure this out together. Uh, this is a one by six. There's a, hey, I do have some cedar, some one by four. Maybe I can give you guys a, a look-see on what that might look like. Uh, this is a big piece, but let's see if I can hold it up there. They're not that heavy. I'm holding the phone. Should be this way, but no, it's this way. You know what? That's not going to work out. Damn it. I hope that worked out. Let's see. Okay, I was talking about trimming this out. This is a one by four. Up there, can y'all see it? I think it looks kind of cool. Let me see if I can step down the ladder one rung. Oh, dang, it's hard to hold up there. I think y'all get the idea. Come on, you can do it. Hold it up there. Damn it. That looks pretty freaking cool, actually. It's, it's kind of thicker. It makes it look like a, I don't know, like a faux beam or something. Huh. Ideas, ideas. Y'all give me, give me some thoughts. Let me know what you think. In the comment section, let me get this one last piece up. And then I'm going to see if I can't start on the wall over here with those fence pickets. I got my compressor out here so I can just t -t 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 and go pretty quick. So uh, let's see if I can get that done. All right. Cold beer. Welcome back. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. So you know when I got these videos coming out and you gotta wait around and search for it. See you back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm gonna get started on the wall over here. My compressor's going, so it's loud. Got the generator right here. The old Predator 5500. That's loud. But it'll be outside with the door shut. And once the compressor gets enough air in it, it'll kick off. And uh, hopefully I can do some video for you guys. So the plan is to take these fence pickets and put them on that wall. Let's see what it looks like.
I put this shelf here. By the way, some of you guys said I should trim this out so that this battery don't fall off, and I think that's a great idea. But I put it too far up so the board doesn't fit in there. So it's just, you know, not thinking about further down the road and planning. So I'm gonna have to remove that shelf, slide it over a little bit, put the board in, and then put the shelf back. Uh, yeah, I think that's the easiest thing to do. Except I don't wanna unhook the battery. Anyways, this is gonna be, hey, hold my beer and watch this. It's gonna be one of those moments. Here we go. Okay, just so you know how I did it. Uh, this was mounted up here. I had to move it back to allow for the board to slide behind it. Didn't think about that. And I also had to C-notch it out because of this lip right here for the uh, windowsill, which I carried all the way over to here. So, sorry I didn't take you guys along for that, but got it done. It's up there, it's level, it's perfect. Uh, moving along, going up the wall. I think I want to get this, at least this section done, so it's, it's getting exciting. Okay, here we go. What's up guys, welcome back. Well, if you've been here this long, thank you. Uh, kind of a hodgepodge of uh, things that we're doing. We did the ceiling today, and then I've also got a portion of the wall done over here, um, as you can see. I love it, freaking love it. It kind of gives it that cabin-y feel, um, especially in transition with the kitchen over here. Uh, worked out the little shelf area for the battery, so that's looking good. Um, I'll probably put a trim piece over there, something like uh, some cedar. But where these dog ears are at, I'm gonna butt some other fence pickets up against it, and then I thought about trimming it out with that. So I don't know if, I, I, yeah, there you go, let me get it in frame. So, maybe you can get the picture. I need a longer board so you can kind of get an idea, but, but I think you get it. If you guys can think of anything else that would look cool to trim that thing out. So I'm thinking something like that. You know, of course it would go all the way to the ceiling and uh, trim it out. So basically there, there's gonna be pickets on this side over here, exactly the same with a trim piece in the middle, like that. Let me know what y'all think, or if you got any other ideas in the comments down there. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna work on this a little bit longer and then call it a day. Appreciate you guys hanging around. Love all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming and checking out what we're doing here, even if you did just come over to check out some solar. Uh, there'll be more of that going, by the way. <clears throat> I got a fan and a light going. That's really all I got going out here right now. 
that thing doesn't drop below 12.9 on the battery. Uh, I'm just not using enough power. And then I'll be gone for a couple of days and it's got a couple of days to charge it back up even if I did. So I might, uh, it'd be nice to bring a radio out, but as you guys know, if I start playing music, it'll demonetize me because I don't own the copyrights to all that music and whatnot. So, but anyways, I'll, uh, maybe I can bring another fan. I would like to suck the juice down. So just so I can see it charge back up and see how it acts. But anyways, uh, more to come. Really looking cool. I'm loving it. I'm hoping that uh, y'all give me some good ideas on how to trim out these beams up here. Maybe I can do something similar that I'm that I'm doing here. Uh, y'all give me some ideas, man. I appreciate it. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell. And hey, man, it's time for what? Cold beer. Y'all take care. Oh.